Uh, we're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. Um, this is one of our videos for Oil Centrifuge 101. Um, we're going to take you out on a job where we're going to pick up oil. Okay, I got a job where I think the garage has five to six barrels. Um, this is some of the equipment we're going to take with us. Okay, uh, of course we're going to have hoses. Uh, we already have, we'll have either barrels or a tote, depending on how much oil we're going to get. Okay, that's the normal stuff. But there are some things that just make the job easier. Okay, one thing we got to is my wand for putting down in the uh, barrel. Okay, the hose off the pump. Notice the quick release couplings. These are the best thing going. Okay, uh, when you're done, they're easy enough to connect the pump oil. When you're done, cap them off. You don't have any mess. I, I got a friend that I uh, go with him sometimes. Um, quite honestly, you wouldn't want to touch anything in the back of his truck. You, you know, he just doesn't really care. Um, take a yardstick. Yeah, there's one. Okay, probably wonder what I'm measuring. Um, take my bucket. It's always for my paper towels. I take my color marking paste. Okay. This will find water that's in the bottom of the drum. Um, and, and the reason we do this, this is the critical point, okay? Picking up your oil, I don't know if you've ever heard of an emulsion. An emulsion is when there's been water in the bottom of the drum, you're running it through a gear pump. Every pump you're using, uh, if you're not using a vacuum system, is a gear pump. Okay, it will create an emulsion, and basically, it doesn't matter if it's veg oil or motor oil. Um, they're a bear to break. You can break them. There isn't a centrifuge. You're going to run it through once, and it's going to separate. Um, it's just not happening like that. Um, but right here is the critical spot that will make your job so much easier if you just do a couple things, simple things. Okay, water marking paste. When I get up to a job. Okay, this is an empty drum. Put my paste on. Okay, you can see it's gold. I dip it in all the way to the bottom. I pull it out. Okay, I can see what's in there. It, it'll turn blood red. Okay, as I'm pulling it out, I'm running the paper towel down it, okay? So when it comes out, it's already clean. There's the bucket, it gets thrown in there. Now just to give you an idea, I filled this up with water. There you go. It goes from the gold to the blood red almost, okay? This is like the best thing going. Now I know my water's at three inches. A lot of guys, I think, figure I can put my tube in and just keep it up some. The problem is, depending on the size of your pump, um, the pickup stream, it, it's not like the oil's just flowing around. You usually have a stream anywhere from four to six inches. Okay, what we do, notice I have a thread on cap. Okay, uh, as soon as it comes out, the cap goes on this end, it stays up that end, everything's draining, it's capped. I put the, disconnect the hose, put the plug right in. Nothing's coming out of it. But like I was saying, I have a thread on 90, I have a small piece, and then I have almost like a standpipe. Because once it goes in, and I can take this like this and run it right down okay so now basically my pipe is 90 over and 90 up when we're out in the field I'll show it to you so I'm pulling everything above that okay um, it's easy you get an idea of where the oil and water is and I mean there's different things sometimes I've held this in at a certain spot most drum, all drums are 35 inches high. You know what? You can pretty much gauge where you need to hold it. So that's pretty simple. And again, when you're coming out, it's clean. 
You don't have the oil running all over. Tap it, flip it over. That's as simple as it is. Cut down the mess. It, it just makes things easier, easier. Okay? This is a necessity. Okay? You can clean and you can dry oil, any oil. Um, I take oil, I, I would take oil if the top was off and it's been raining, typhoon, because I know I can settle it, drain it off. I can heat it and evaporate it, and I can centrifuge it. Those three things together will clean your oil and dry it. And like I said, these caps here, they're, they're the way to go. It's an easy hookup system to your tube. It's an easy cap system to keep all the oil in there. Um, this isn't probably the most technical, but it's just little things like this that are going to help you with the good oil. Okay? Um, stay with our series. Uh, there's a lot of other ridiculous stuff we're going to show you. Uh, again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply. Thank you.